all seeing eye tarot here with your monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of taurus sun moon and rising for the month of april 2019 remember taurus if your birthday runs in the month of april take advantage of special 50 hit me up at all seeing eye tarot at gmail.com and in your subject line be sure to put birthday 50 that way i'll know your birthday is in the month of april um anybody else if your birthday falls in the month of may then you have to wait until may but other than that you could always get a reading by you know hitting me up in my email if you look in the subject well if you look in the description box right below this video it'll tell you the prices that i usually have unless i'm running a special and you have to listen to videos in order to find out about what specials i'm giving okay because i don't put it down below i actually put it in a video usually somewhere in the middle all right, so let's see what's happening. For this month, I am not doing the bi-weekly. I am going to do the monthly, the full monthly, and then I am going to bring back Intuitive Fridays. So if you know anything about Intuitive Fridays, you have an opportunity or a chance to win a free 30-minute reading by time stamping. I usually choose my winners from, you know, in the uh, comment board, so definitely time stamp below. But more about that when, when we get to an Intuitive Friday. Okay, Spirit and Universe, what's the message you got for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of April 2019. Give me Taurus. I'm doing reversals as well, Taurus, and I'm going to do a nine card spread. And I'm this will be intuitive, okay? So I'm going to intuit the message, you know, whatever way these cards are flowing. I'm just going to go with that. Okay, so here we go. First card out, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to put the first row up top. You got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. These cards are like bending up or something. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You got the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, you got the Eight of Cups in reverse. Uh-oh. The lovers. I'm used to seeing this for you, Taurus, because you have a hard time letting go of things that's not good for you. Look at that. The full in reverse. You have the, this is the Knight of Cups. The Five of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Tower in reverse. Okay, so I'll leave that right there. All right, Taurus, what is going on here with you guys? Okay, so you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse. I feel like looking at this, Taurus, I feel like you missed out on a golden opportunity. All right? I feel like you missed out on an opportunity, a fresh start, somebody um, who may have had their shit together. Okay? But being as though, you know, maybe maybe they were wearing some sort of disguise with the nine of pentacles in reverse i don't feel it as being broke or the person being broke i just feel like it was disguised why because we have the five of wands also in reverse so it could have been a little bit of competition maybe there were stipulations to the deal that spirit offered you maybe they said to you okay well we got a fresh new start for you a brand new guy who has a really great job or whatever uh, maybe he has some issues. Maybe he doesn't look the way you want him to look. Or we have this female, you know, and, and she really got her shit together and you would be really good with this person. But something's wrong with her appearance. You don't really agree with her appearance. This is what I feel. Okay. Then we have the eight of cups in reverse, the lovers in the full in reverse. I feel like you have a hard time letting go of someone. So not only did you have to accept this person. All right. That was new or sort of unique, not used to your, you know, not up to your standards. I'll put it that way. Not up to your standards. I can't say that this person is not uh, financially situated because I think that they are because the nine of pentacles would not have popped up. If the person was broke, I would just get a five of pentacles. But um, the person's not broke. The person seems to have it all. But the problem is you got issues with letting go of. A previous partner that you've been with. It's just something that you're not used to. You feel very uncomfortable. And when Taurus feels uncomfortable, Taurus doesn't move. It just don't move. It doesn't matter what anybody say or, you know, who, who questions it or whatever. With the full in the reverse, I feel like you're, you're kind of adamant about, you know, stepping into this new type of situation. 
We have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, and then the Seven of Swords. It could have even been a possibility, Taurus, maybe, you know, in this month, okay, because the month is not here yet. This is like 30th. So uh, maybe in this month, um, maybe you actually started the relationship with him rather quickly. But as soon as you got with this person, something you didn't like, something about that individual you didn't like, you're trying to judge them based off of the person that you just walked away from. Taurus. That's the issue here with the Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, Five of Cups, and Seven of Swords. There was something about them that, that just turns you completely off. And then you have the Tower in the reverse, so this kind of represents that, you know, you're not willing to make a change, okay? You're just fine with all the mask and all the bullshit that you've built up. You're not willing to, you know, really be broken and to let spirit you know, uh, set your life in the proper order in which way, you know, in which it should go and for your highest good. I feel like that very strongly. Another thing I can look at this also when it comes to finances um, or even single individuals, I feel like you had a golden opportunity, but it could be that you're lazy. Looking at the, the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the five of wands in the reverse, you don't want to work for, you know, uh, what you got. It could be that maybe you had to take a job that was paying less than what you're used to making. So that can be, you know, somebody that may have worked in a nursing field. Let's say you're a registered nurse and maybe you got fired. OK, I'm not saying you're a registered nurse. Do not take it literally what I'm saying. OK, it's figuratively just it could be any situation, but it's going to, you know, it's in a parable, okay? So break this down and, and put it to where it fits in your life. You could have lost a job making a lot of money. Could have been due to anything. Maybe you had a court case. Maybe you had went to jail. Whatever the situation is, okay? You're used to making a certain amount. You're used to being financially stable. You're used to making fucking $30 an hour. Now you got to take a job for $11 an hour, okay? This is what it says to me. All right. And maybe you feel you're a little bit too good for that. All right. Or maybe you feel like I don't want to work hard and I, I don't even feel like I'm getting closer to where I was. One of those situations. So it still kind of represents that you're not willing to uh, shape shift or, you know, um, you're not easy to, to be molded, molded into greatness is what I can say. You're not easy to be molded because, you know, I often tell people, if you want to be rich, let's just say you want to be rich and your prayer to the universe is, please, you know, put me in a position where I never need another person ever in life. Well, in order to be extremely rich, you have to first be extremely poor, all right? So that when you do get those riches, you could finally have something to be grateful for. You know, you, you could realize the importance and the value of money. All right. So in order to do that, you have to be extremely broke first. All right. So you have to go through a process and it looks like maybe you got a golden opportunity. Spirit gave you an opportunity to be rich, but you're not willing to go through what it takes in order to get there. Okay, you're not you're not willing. You got some hangups. You got some issues that is preventing you from being financially stable. You got some hangups. You got some issues that's preventing you from getting married. Hangups, issues that is preventing your marriage from moving forward. Okay, and in order to fix these things, you have to be broken. Spirit needs you to be broken down. They need this full upright so that you can start a new beginning. The full upright will represent a brand new beginning. But when this will represent somebody who is able to easily walk with their spirit guides and trust, even when they can't see where they're going. So when it's in reverse, this says that you don't trust anything. You know, you don't trust the soul. I don't trust it. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so this is somebody that would ask questions. Where are we going? And how long is it going to take to get there? Are you sure that this is the way to go? Well, I don't really feel comfortable with that. You know, that's the full in reverse. All right. They're not very comfortable with unfamiliar territory. This would be charting unfamiliar territory. But I often give you guys the saying that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. Okay, so therefore, if you want greatness, then you have to be willing to, to stay the path in order to get greatness. All right. With this five of cups here, you could be regretting this offer. You could be regretting that you fucked up with this offer. And you could be asking, you know, Bella, am I ever going to get that opportunity back that I had? Am I ever going to get that man back that I had the chance to be with? I, I left my marriage too e easily, Bella. Am I ever going to get that marriage back 
that um you know I, I once had. It could be anything like that. Okay, this is really about losing something that is valuable because you're not willing to change or you're not willing to grow or you're not willing to be broken down so that you can change. That's what this whole reading is about. Okay. And you have to put it in the terms of where it fits in your life. Okay. If you can't do that, then you hit me up. All seen at tarot at gmail.com. Get a personal reading. Okay. But I feel like you're going to be going through that for the month of April. I, I feel like there's a, you know, there's a foreboding, uh, deep sadness within this reading, sort of like missed opportunities, being sad about missed opportunities. That's what I'm feeling very strongly with this reading. Or missed chances, okay? Like I said, it could be about going having a brand new relationship that's really good for you, but you're afraid to take that extra step. You're afraid to let go of the old, okay, and to compromise. This could simply be about compromising with your spirit guides. It doesn't have to be about you compromising with another person. It could be about compromising with your spirit guides, trusting. Trusting the direction that they're going. And if you look at this card, okay, take a look at this card, guys, okay? You see this? These are, I guess they would be people that are washed or, you know, like sort of like the judgment. People that are bathed and washed. They got on these gowns and they're all alike. And then if you look up this hill, this is a mother and a child. Okay. So it could be about, are you willing to step into the unknown? They don't know where they're going, but they trust that they're going to go in the right direction. Or is it so uncomfortable that you have to go back home to be in that little girl? Or, or going home to mom because you don't trust this process. That's what it's all about. Okay, that's what this lovers is all about in the pagan deck. This is pagan tarot. All right, so that's what I feel that's going on for the month of April, guys. Definitely, you would be a great candidate to hit me up um, for personal reading this month. So if you, you're not used to getting tarot readings, if you never had a tarot reading, this would be a great month to, you know, uh, reach out to me. I don't get many tours, okay? I mean, I get some tours, but not many. This would be your month to, to hit me up because you got these golden opportunities. I don't want you to lose it all. You know, I don't, I don't want you to lose your opportunity completely entirely, all right? There's still a possibility that this can switch. I mean, you know, because it is still an opportunity, but maybe you need to talk to the right person that knows how to flip these cards upright, Okay? Judge for yourself. All sing at tarot at gmail.com. Okay. You can read my comment board. People have come to me. <clears throat> you know. As, you know what? That's why I leave the comment board open. So you guys can go on the comment board. Ask what their experiences was. I have nothing to hide. I'm, I'm not embarrassed about anything. This is what I do. I fix shit. Okay. I, I'm not the tarot reader that's going to sit up here and tell you some bullshit. Oh my God. It looks like you, you, you're just going to be so happy. You're going to find a love of your life this week. And that's bullshit. Okay. And then it doesn't happen. That's not me. I fix problems. Okay. So I'm all about fixing what's going wrong in your life. So looking at that reading, looking at you having that opportunity and just needing that extra push to get you in the right direction so that all is not laws is what I do. Hit me up, all sing at gmail.com. Okay. Like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Okay. This ain't your reading, but you know somebody that's going through this. It would help me greatly to share the video. I definitely appreciate you guys in every way. If it didn't touch on your if it, you know, didn't even scratch the surface on your situation, like I said, you have two options. You can hit me up for a personal reading, or you can wait around for the intuitive Fridays, because I'm bringing those back. Intuitive Fridays. And that's a weekly reading. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Until next time, happy birthday if your month of, if your birthday is in the month of April. Until next time, thank you, Taurus.